Cell phones and computers are great ways to keep up with a busy schedule, but sometimes the best way to make sure you make it to your appointments and ball games on time is by writing a simple note and pinning it to a bulletin board. Yep, pretty low tech, but very dependable, and the battery never goes dead. You know, a couple of things I like about this project. First, I'm building something, always happy when I'm in the workshop. And secondly, it's very adaptable. You can change up a few measurements, the color scheme, and this will fit into just about any decor you may have. I found this piece of cork literally on the sale rack at Target for five bucks. So you go out there and find your own bargain and you can make this your very own. Let's get started. We're gonna create our own molding that goes around the perimeter of the cork. Here's the profile. The southern yellow pine is built up along the outside with molding. The detail I like the most is this little bead. Now the bit used to create it runs about 35 bucks, so you may want to substitute a different profile, and that's just fine. Okay, I started by ripping the blanks for the legs and the top of our frame. These are two and three quarter inches wide, but again, you can make this uh, any measurement you like to suit your project. Let's go ahead and put that cool bead on the inside edge of all three. Adjust your router so the bit leaves a nice smooth transition along the edge of the pine. The rabbit used to countersink the cork board can be done a couple of ways, either with the use of a rabbiting bit on the router table or just a couple of quick adjustments using the table saw. To fit around the cork board, use the miter saw to cut 45 degree angles for the top two corners. I'm cutting the legs first. All right, here's an easy way to get the measurement for our top piece of our frame without having to add in the rabbits and subtract the depth and everything else. I'm all about simple. Just lay the two sides over the top of the cork, this side, like that, and measure the outside width. Make sure that they're fitting snugly, just like that. I've got about 16 and 5 8 in my case, which I've already transferred to this piece here. All I'm gonna do is cut the other miter over here on the miter saw. Perfectly. Time to connect everything together with a biscuit joiner. If you've never used one, they're pretty cool. They use these little pieces of compressed wood fiber shaped like footballs to hold the joints together. The biscuits come in different sizes. We're using the Porter Cable FFs on this project. Slots are made with this cutter. When you glue inside the slot and put the biscuit in, it swells up and locks the joint together. We want to find out exactly where we're going to put those. Line the joint up, use a pencil, and make a little tick mark right across the two pieces that we can sand that off later. Do the very same thing on this side, make sure it's lined up. Doesn't have to be perfect, you're just making sure you have a reference mark. Turn the cutter on and create the slots. Apply a liberal amount of glue to the slots and insert the biscuit. Then wipe off the excess glue with a damp rag. Do the same for the other corner and set the piece aside to dry. All right, while our frame is drying, let's go ahead and make the shelf. It's very simple to do. There are a couple ways to do it though. First, if you're going to paint this project, go ahead and cut a piece of pine a couple of inches longer than the frame is wide. Then we'll use our round over bit to soften up the edges and the paint will hide the end grain. If you're gonna be staining this, you'll wanna make a couple of returns and make the returns just a little bit wider than the shelf is wide. Uh, that way the grain is following itself nicely here. We'll use our round over bit to soften the edges and we'll use the table saw to trim off these little tails. The shelf needs a slot cut along the back edge for the cork to sit in. The depth and width need to match the rabbit we cut in the back of the frame. The easiest way to make this cut is on the router table. Just center up the cork, make start and end marks on the shelf, and cut away. The cork board fits just about perfectly into the rabbit we just cut into the shelf. Now you see if we put our frame together with the shelf, we're just about an inch long on the legs. So what we're gonna do is cut a, uh, about an inch off of each one of these legs on the frame and we'll be good to attach the whole thing together. Okay. 
Okay, for the apron at the bottom of the cork board, I just cut a single piece of pine and put our decorative bead along the bottom edge. I'm gonna paint this, no big deal if I see the end grain. Again, if you're gonna stain this, you'll wanna cut those little returns. Uh, believe me, I've done it, it gets a little tedious. I suggest spray paint. The plans give us the option of using biscuits to join the frame's legs to the shelf and the shelf to the apron at these four points. I'm just gonna glue and clamp the pieces together because it's just not that heavy and I don't think it needs the extra support. The final step in the construction process is to apply some molding to the edges of the frame and just under the shelf. I've already cut the pieces and I'll be using a pin nailer to attach them to the frame while the glue sets. Now these little pinners are great. They shoot, literally, it's hard to even pick them up, tiny little pins, and basically they're just holding the molding in place while the glue dries, but the, the beauty of them is they make such a small hole that uh, they're almost unnoticeable, especially if you're gonna paint it. So I'm just gonna finish up putting the molding on here, and then we're just about done. deal with really tiny pieces of molding, you can leave them a little bit long like this, nail them in place, and then use a hacksaw later when the glue dries. All right, that's pretty much it aside from your choice of finishes. Now, if you want to prime and paint this or, or stain it, the choice is yours. Uh, once you've done that, the easiest way to attach the cork inside the frame is either with a hot glue gun or you could put some little brackets along the back. Uh, either way is going to work just fine. And then some picture wire. Hang this up, you're good to go. Thanks for watching and remember realoutdoorliving.com for more great woodworking projects. Wood. It's real.